scary. So we like the song, but Chandler is irritated. Do you want another song now? You just get the now? same song every time you come on. I like him to mix it up a little bit. Do you have a request? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm, no. He's like, I'm with I whatever. Don't care. I'm with whatever. Lose our music guy today, because I you keep tweeting about music, so we'll just ask you next time. All right, Vince. Uh, we're all Whoa. watching the same series. Um, we are. I wish it was a little more entertaining, but if you're a Celtics fan, you're having a blast. So Jalen Brown, we don't have to pick who the best player on the team is, but it certainly is fun. Uh, is it Jalen Brown? <laughs> uh, it, it is. It is Jalen Brown for sure. Uh, but I just like the chemistry. I like how the Boston Celtics go about their business. Uh, we understand the marquee name is Jason Tatum, but, you know, Jalen Brown's like that that pit bull that's caged and just waiting for his opportunity <laughs> to go ham. It's like, okay, Tatum, oh, what, he's not, he's not, he's not balling? He, he's struggling? I got it. And it, it is understand, and we, we want Jason Tatum to be that guy to put up this 30, 30 every night, and, you know, I, I, I said he could win the MVP, which he's very capable of, but when he's not rolling, He's able to take a step back and allow Jalen Brown to be himself. And Lou said it. He's he's their best facilitator right now. He he understands. Okay, cool. I'm not scoring, but I can still make plays and get get off the ball for other guys to score. And that's why we're seeing a, a successful Boston Celtics. Because, in my opinion, though, with Porzingis out, Tatum hmm. had to step up and do and play the way he played. Because I tell you, he drives me crazy with some of the shot selections when he's in a groove. And he settles for those contested threes when he can get downhill whenever he wants. I said yesterday, Vince, I was like, the percentage, obviously, we'd like to see him be more efficient, right? But if this were other players, I feel like we would just be focused on them winning and allowing his other no, teammates to get off. Fair. And like, mm. so it's like, why does everyone nitpick Jason Tatum and, and, and make it? Because I get it, he's inefficient. Some of the threes, even last night, he's four for 13 for three, and he's just hoisting some bad shots. Which it, 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 it bothered me, CP, because like I said, uh, you know, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's like he was getting downhill. He was getting to the elbow. He's getting to that post up that he wanted. And then all of a sudden, he was like, you know, jab, step, jab, step, three. For what? You don't yeah. have to. And I think we all see the potential in, in Jason Tatum. And, you know, look at LeBron, look at Kobe, MJ. We, you know, we criticize the, the best players for, you know, and, well, let's say nitpick in different situations. <laughs> I feel Jason Tatum has that potential, but just sometimes he lets guys off the hook. You know yeah. what, though, VC? I think we're looking at it as former players. We know what it takes. Like, during the course of the game, you need to lay up. You need to get some free throws. You need to get to the line and get an easier look. This is who Jason Tatum is. Like, yep. I feel like those step back threes, those are layups to him. Those are shots that he feels most comfortable. So when we're thinking about, I need to get an easy one, I think he, that's what he's looking at those shots as. This is an easy shot for me. I, 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 okay, that's fair. I, I just say when it, the shot is not working, if you're struggling, you know, for, for me, I feel like, let me get as close to the basket. Let me see one go win first. Then I get back to, you know, my, my, pet, my pet moves and everything like that. I just feel like he has the ability. He worked on his body to get stronger, to overpower people. We were like, oh, okay, he could play bully ball when he wants. He's very good. I, okay, I'd rather see him take those shots in the post or mm -hmm. at the mid-range. So it, when you're not when you're not rolling, mm -hmm. then work your way out. That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, or at least get to the hoop, get right. to the free throw line. I just think he first. works backwards. I think just his style you. of play, he works backwards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got to talk Luca here uh, because Let's to foul out of a finals game, to have three of those fouls come in the fourth quarter when it's actually becoming a game again with a shot, um, how, it's disappointing. And, and if you're a Mavericks fan, I would imagine you love the guy, but you're also just today thinking, shaking your head. How do you change? Can you change him at this point? Well, I, I think both of those guys, Lou and, and, and CP, said something that I was over here like, man, that is heads on, spot on. The silly foul he took in frustration uh, came back to haunt him. And I know Lou said that. And, and like I said, he was trying to be in the right position. And CP, you said at, at some point late in the game, you, you, you don't want to risk, particularly with five fouls, let me try to get this charge right now right. when they need you on the floor. Like, it just – because when you go out, if you look at the stat line, who, who else really live, – uh, Lively played okay. P.J. Mm -hmm. played, played well. He had 13 points. Lively had 11 points. But if you don't have another guy to, to, to really get, get off outside of Kyrie, mm -hmm. I, I'd rather have you on the floor taking shots. That's, I, and that's why they're down 3-0. This, this is a recognition thing. Somebody on the floor has to recognize – they have Luke on the island. He has five fouls. I'm just going to run and jump. We're going to get the ball yeah. out of your hands. And, let's, yeah. and Luca, you rotate out and go get another matchup. Instead, they just sat there and watched and allowed him to stay one-on-one -on, -one on one of the best players on the floor.
Yeah. yeah, and you guys said it. You, I mean, CP, you said it. Like, all right, what what is Boston doing? Pick and roll with Luca. Whoever Luca's guarding, go set the screen for the switch. Right. All right, at some point, how about we just corral? We stay in it and make them get off the ball, have to swing, swing, and then we contest a couple because Boston, you know, they shoot a lot. They weren't shooting a great percentage, but that's kind of what I, I was just like, all right, don't leave them on that island like you're saying. Yeah, like game four, when they when Luca comes up to guard that pick and roll, blitz, make them throw out, and then scramble. Yeah. Don't just let them attack him and go by him and create for others. At least if you're going to already be at a disadvantage, blitz. I hadn't so seen them do it yet, but throw a hedge in there. Right. Something just Which so is, you yeah, can get anything, anything yeah. other than just switching and letting him I get like exposed. Like do anything. what uh, what Golden State is doing will do sometimes with Steph. In any pick and roll, he hard shows trying to make the defender go towards the half court line, and you get out of there right. with with high hands and you know stunt, stunt, blah blah blah. I, I, you know, I, I just think you got to do that, and I understand Jason Kidd's trying not to make them guard and earn it, but I think that's what Boston is making Luca do. They say, okay, go get your matchup, work really hard to to get one on one, and they're taking away everything else. You know. We don't see the great playmaking. We don't see the big triple-double numbers from Luka because they're making him score one-on-one. And he's – game four, I just like to see Luka just go get a bucket. Mm -hmm. The hell with trying to get a foul. Yeah, go get right? a bucket. Stop. You know, mm -hmm. because it's like you're not getting them. And I think, Lou, you said it. That it's exhausting. It's it's for the referees. They're like they're tired of arguing with you after a while. <laughs> no doubt. I don't even like watching it. I don't think it's entertaining <laughs> yeah, it's at all. it's tough to watch not, after a while. Especially when you're not getting it. When you're not getting yeah. it, like, it's like, all right, buddy, right now you need a bucket. You're too good. I think the problem is Trying you're Luca. You're too good. Well, for also, this. ever since the review, Vince, every every play, a guy yeah. can't take yeah. another guy going yelling like at this. the yeah. bench. What do you know? They're they're just dead wrong too. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely can't yeah. stand that. I don't love it yeah. either.